Good morning, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. You remember us? <laughs> we're we're Happy Heart Treasures. It's been a hot minute um, since we've been on. A couple weeks. Uh, we've thought about filming several times since then, uh, but we keep having stuff to stuff do. Stuff come up and <laughs> things, and we've been so busy. Like so, what's been happening? Every every time we think we're gonna film, something comes up and we can't or whatever. Yeah. So. Um, hi everybody, welcome to the channel. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of Re stuff. Rehomers of stuff in okay. Lincoln, Nebraska. And we have this little YouTube channel where we kind of document our journey. Um, but we've done a lot of stuff since the last time we saw you, so let's get into that. Yeah. All right, um, let's see, Donna. Steven. Two weeks. What have we done in the last two weeks? Well, we went to the zoo. Yeah, Donna's birthday was two days ago. Happy birthday, Donna. Thanks. I'm officially 55. Double nickel, which means she gets like discounts at yeah, some it's restaurants really cool. now. Yeah, so that's sometimes great. you get you get a 55 and older menu discount but, or but something. Happy birthday. We went to the Omaha Zoo. Yes. If you're not from Nebraska and you ever come through Nebraska, go to the Omaha Zoo. Oh. It is one of the top zoos in the world. Here's a couple pictures. Can we show them a couple pictures? Of what? This one. This one is <laughs> the gorilla that turned 28 the same day that I did. Yeah, same birthday as yeah. Donna. Yep, yeah. so here's the gorilla that's and special. here is the lion. Lion's on top of the... The rock. We call it Pride Rock. Yes. Anyway, so we had a birthday, and that was fun. We have Donna's mom and her husband here visiting now for a few days. So uh, we've been busy with them. We have done, since uh, we last saw you, we've done two different estate cleanouts. Yeah. The day before the zoo, we did a cleanout in Columbus. And normally we have extra muscle there. And um, we didn't have our normal extra muscle, so... I tried. Anyway, <laughs> we did a clean out and... Um, that was a family situation. Um, yeah. And so we did have like my mom and my aunt and uncle there and they were helping. Yes. Um, so we got that cleaned out. Um, let's see. The, the weekend before that. So if you back all the that. way up. You back all the way up to our last video. I think it was on a Tuesday. We went to Omaha on Wednesday and there were sneak peek garage sales. And we went on Wednesday night to sneak peek garage sales. And then we went to garage sales on Thursday, and then we went to garage sales on Friday. <laughs> and Saturday. We were going to take Saturday off, but we heard there were garage sales, really good ones in Omaha, and so we went to them. And then we got a call that day, hey, can you do this estate clean out? Mm -hmm. We were going to do a video like showing garage sale finds and stuff like that, but then we got a call, hey, can you do a, a estate clean out, possibly like right away. It was after an estate sale. Yeah, and so yeah. the very next day on Sunday, we did that. Um, cleaned it out. We met the owner on Monday morning, gave him the key back. We didn't film because we were dealing with the owner, and it just seemed like a situation where he, you know, it didn't seem real comfortable for filming, but it was good. He was nice and everything, yeah. and that was great. Um, so then the next day, we were pretty wiped out. So then we got into the week, and we shipping and trying to list because we've been so busy with other yeah. things and then we went garage selling the other day on friday and then on saturday we went and did this then sunday the zoo then monday trying to catch up and recuperate and having her <laughs> her mom and her husband here the whole day and so now it's tuesday and we're tired but it's been busy it's, it's been, been fun busy. and let's show them a few of the things we found uh yeah should we start with the highlight yes. we think it was the highlight let's check do. this out look at this this is Dale Tiffany Pansy Pear Point Table Lamp. This is uh, originally JCPenney's. Has a price tag on it for $200 from 2004. So it's about 20 years old. Um, there are none of these on eBay. So I looked on Worth Point and there's three or four that have sold on Worth Point. The most recent one was a year ago. And it looks like it was sold on an auction. It sold for like $365 new. Nice. They said this has never been used. Um, we we pulled it out just to see if it was broken or not. But it uh, looks like it's possibly new. But it definitely is not broken. So this, we is, gonna a, look inside this is a there? big one. But yeah, I thought let's look inside of it. Let's pull it out and make sure everything's here. And make sure everything's good. We might as well, right? Yeah. So I paid $30 for this uh, at the first garage sale we went to on friday 
in this a barn. This was a small town, small town garage. The, the box is very water damaged. It's in very bad shape, but we don't think the lamp is. So, and that's what that's obviously what matters. So, I mean, it Let's helps if got. the box is still new, but. I got it. How can I help you? I don't know. Just gotta get it started here. All right, is that the open end? Nope. All right, here's what we got. Here's some parts and pieces here. Here is the stand. So it's not brand new because the so cord isn't ramped, but still a very pretty rare, pretty nice piece. There's not dust on the bottom, like as if it was. Yeah, there's really not. Then let's get the globe out here and see what we got. Let's not knock that over. So here so is pretty. the globe. It's hand painted. We can get that sticker off. But is it, it says painted this from is... the inside? Oh, it is. Yeah. I've never seen one of these before. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's all hand painted. I don't see any chips. No, nope, no cracks or chips. So, pretty cool, huh? We have some stuff. We'll take that off. Sticker. We'll clean it up. We'll take some pictures, and we probably put it on auction since we don't do auction very often. But there's none of these listed. There hasn't been for a long time, so we'll probably put it on auction. Just see what happens. Start it at a couple hundred dollars and see where it goes. Nice. So that was fun. That was one of the first thing we found just about that day. Um, we'll just kind of go through and show you. So full disclosure, I'm not going to lie. We did get a second storage unit, which we never really want to do, but not to clean out, but to store stuff. To, yeah, no, a storage unit that we got. Yes. Uh, when we did Columbus, we need a place to put it. Now we do get a month free, so our intention is we're gonna get blow through that stuff, get it all emptied within a month, and then it basically would be free. We wouldn't have to pay for it. Well, you've already sold a bunch of stuff out of it, the shelves. Sold, sold a few things, a mm -hmm. um, few furniture pieces. Uh, we do have some more furniture pieces. There's a couch, there's a full-size Ethan Allen bed set, stuff like that. So people on the dollar auction that are local be watching because we have some good stuff coming. Um, we're going to show you, it's kind of a mixture here of garage sale items, stay sale items, all kinds of items. So we're just going to kind of show you some stuff we have here at the house for today. Uh, we had a great weekend on eBay. We shipped out, I think, 26 things yesterday. Um, Steve did all the work himself. As always, I was visiting. <laughs> so anyway, it's been going pretty good, uh, but we just needed to catch up here so we can kind of have a starting point for our life and our videos again. So... We'll go through and show you some things. This printer right here, Epson ET2720, it is brand new. And I got this for $40 and it sells for, I think about $150, $200 when I looked it up. So I'll get that listed, it'll be simple. I will actually ship it in this box. I won't put it in another box. I'll put it in the listing description saying will be shipped in this box. So that'll be really easy. Um, some random stuff, good stuff, average stuff, bad stuff, you know, whatever. Uh, this Jansport backpack, very good condition. Don't know if it's ever been used. Yeah, and the inside, there's still the the bag on the inside that comes with it. Yeah, well, you got some paper here. I mean, we got... These are garage sale items. These are dollar auction items. Some Tupperware, some candles. What's this? Crayon box? New crayon box? That's yeah, kind of cool. That is cool. 1991. Some... I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. It's got some years on it. Long and burger baskets right here with the planters. Oh, oh yeah. This has all the parts and pieces with it. You can show this off. Oh, yeah. We got this for five dollars, this long and burger basket. It is a full size heart. And on the inside it has the liner and the ruffle and the matching yeah trinket thing or something i don't know yep. what you call it but 
what's the date on the bottom here? 1999. So that's fun. And then up here we have a Vera Bradley brand new bag. And that lists for 75. Like a rolling suitcase. It's got wheels on it, I think. Yep, yep wheels. But a very, very good condition. Uh, yeah, it looks brand new. It looks like it's never been used. Got it for $8. Yep. This is an interesting bag. We don't know nothing about it, but it was $1. I think that was a $1 mm -hmm. sale. So we'll look into that. I don't know what brand it is or nothing. But anyway, very interesting. We got a lot of clothes, stuff like that. Uh, Over here. Very cool. We've got all kinds of goodies that we haven't unwrapped yet. From our estate clean out. Um, Terry Redland. As we go through and find more, we'll show it to you. Um, oh, you got a bunch of these. Yeah, I got them. Coming up. And a lot of them will be in the store, I think, right? So with uh, local I don't know, people. They, I put some on Dollar Auction already and they did well. I was happy with it. I didn't pay, but I don't know, about a dollar fifty a piece. Um, got some Harley bikes some nascar bikes whatever you know here's your tommy bahama pullover um got a whole bunch of these older glasses that haven't been through dishwashers so that's nice we've sold a lot of these glasses over the years you just pick them up when you can get them for 50 cents or a dollar they're you like the these McDonald's. For 25 didn't you yeah i think we got these for 25 cents here's the muppets muppets and there's like six or eight of them in this box but anytime we can get them cheap they sell not for a lot for like eight to twelve dollars but when you can get them for 50 cents it's a great deal okay all right so we'll go over here i'm gonna show you our this friends toe here our friends ruth and larry found these for us at a garage sale down south and we've got some more quilting things uh packets so that'll be on ebay soon some moda fabric and things that always does well yeah we've learned a lot about quilting products um let's see donna what else we got we got so much stuff dude it's there's so much stuff it's fun it is a lot of fun this to go is through all garage sale stuff from before when we were garage selling so that means we hand picked it so that means there should be something good in those boxes some more fabric, um, some more Tupperware. Show that painted horse just to your left. It's pretty cool. I don't think it's it's not super high value, but it's painted cool. the trial the trail ponies. of painted ponies. So we it's got this for a dollar. Cool. It reminds 50. me of the when we went to Kentucky. They have the horse statues everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Donna, show me your hats. Your hats. You bought all the hats. <gasps> so we were at a garage sale and. The guy had, I think, five hats, hat boxes, old vintage hats, and he said his dad had a hat shop, and he just was, he needed to sell these because he just been storing them forever. And so one of the hats isn't here, probably the best hat. Uh, we have it, sent it with Ruth, had a little stain on it. She's trying to get it out, but it is a uh, Stetson 10X hat, which is like their top of the line hats or something, but there's some cool old hats here in the boxes. So we'll show you. He wanted ten dollars a piece. There's five hats. Don asked if he'd take forty for all of them, and he said yes. So now we have all these cool old hats. So what is this one? This one is Knox. Yeah, some of them have tags on it and tells Let's you what see. it is, but Borsellino. So that's a Knox brand. Is that what it is? Um, yes. There's the box there. and the boxes are in wonderful shape Dobbs Fifth Avenue hats from New York with a feather this is Dobbs Challenger yeah we haven't really looked these up but for eight bucks a piece we thought that's a heck of a deal another Dobbs with a different color feather Dobbs Fifth Avenue, seven and an eighth. Yeah. So I mean, it's a pretty good size. But and I just love that they're in good, good shape. The boxes and are. And then there's one more in a Christmas box. 
but it's not a Christmas. This one had a tag on the side, didn't it? Tell you what it is? I thought it did. There it is. Um. I don't know, I can't read the Stevens right. Deluxe, I think it says. Stevens, yeah. The Deluxe Stevens Gold and Company. That's a nice. Yeah, nice we don't one. know quite what year they are or anything yet, but we'll do our research. We'll get them listed. So, And like I said, there's a Stetson 10X hat um, that's not here right now, but that one. it came with it too. Anything else like here, Donna, you want to show them? We, a there's of, just we got stuff got a pair everywhere. Of Bergs for a dollar. Birkenstocks. Yep, they always sell well. This bag. It's like a vintage Snoopy, Snoopy. bag. <clears throat> um, didn't pay much for that. That was a dollar too, actually. What yeah, else you got? Uh, like some log cabin <laughs> syrup containers. I mean, I think those are just dollar auction. I paid like a quarter a piece for a couple of those. Uh, cameras. I've got three cameras. Paid. This one's not worth a lot. Only paid two bucks for it though, so um, I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks for that. This one, if it works, I paid one dollar for a Canon Prower Shot SD 790 IS. This is actually worth about a hundred dollars if it works, but I don't think this one works. So even for parts or repair, it's still worth, you know, I think around thirty dollars, twenty-five, thirty dollars. So I only paid a dollar for it. And this one I paid a dollar or two dollars for in this box. And I think this one does work, I believe. Canon PowerShot XX510HS. And this one I think is worth about $30, $35. So I'll get those listed. And yeah, there's just, there's just so much stuff. And like I said, we got a whole storage unit full of boxes and furniture. We're going to work really hard to get that done in the next couple of weeks. Just be done with all that. Yeah. Um, we just wanted to catch up. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. haven't seen you for a while. And... Ha yeah, haven't seen you. We haven't seen you. You haven't seen us. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't said hi. You. Yeah, we haven't said <laughs> hi. Yeah, so <laughs> lots of stuff. We have a lot going on. Um, we have that estate clean out scheduled in the first week of February. Honey. We have, February, July. <laughs> yeah. Who He's knows tired. what we'll have in February. Anyway, um, we're going to get to work, get to listing, because with all these things going on, we haven't been able to list as much. So we have a little quiet time right now. We're going to get to it. Did you find something else, Donna? Just my flamingo. Oh, nice. I don't know if it's Murano or what, but yeah. I was going to work on it today. All right, so we gotta that's get it. busy. That's it. There's just some stuff. That's kind of what we've been doing. We will. We do want to put out like at least a video a week. So it's just been crazy. Keep now, watching. We'll try to do better. Better. But now <laughs> so. that Donna's birthday is coming past, now we can have some free time, right? Yeah, because because <laughs> that I birthday. take so much time. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. We do appreciate it, especially all of you watching to the end. You're the best. And we will keep you up to date on our adventures and some sales and stuff. Like and subscribe like and share. And that helps all that us stuff. grow the channel. All right. It's free to do. So Yes, and it helps us. Yeah. We appreciate it, too. All right. You got anything else, Donna? That's it. We'll see you next right. time. We're tired. We got to get to work. See you next time. For Happy Heart Treasures, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.